Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We are we are out here outside the new house up on the hill in the winter. <laughs> it's uh, lots of snow on the ground. We got some more snow last night, but projects can't just stop because we got some snow. And so I've got to get a few things done today. And one of the things I wanted to show you guys was, and one of the problems I think a lot of people have, you move into a new house uh, and you have to kind of figure out all the little quirks. You got to figure out what works, what doesn't, and what's been taken care of, what needs to be added, and all these things. And one of the things that we like to do at all of our homes is we like to have good light on the outside of the house, and we've also always put up some kind of a camera. Not necessarily security, um, although it does add that you know ability, but just to see you know, where the, the sides of the house we don't have windows on or things like that, areas we can't really see outside. It's nice to see who's pulling up the driveway, who's outside, when there's packages being delivered, get notifications, things like that. And so we've tried lots of different cameras and, and floodlights and other things to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna take you around the house to show you kind of <laughs> the, the floodlight situation that, that we came into at this house. And then uh, we're gonna install a new uh, camera today, a new uh, floodlight slash camera that uh, I haven't tried before. And so we're gonna get that put up and we're gonna see how it works. And uh, well, let me show you what we got here. I think the easiest way to show you is to climb down to the bottom of the hill <laughs> through a foot of snow. There are stairs in here somewhere. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the hill uh, in the, the backyard, I guess you'd say this is the south side of the house. And uh, I'm going to show you some pretty, pretty uh, amazing icicles also. But uh, we have a couple floodlights that were here. So there's one right up on the corner there. Uh, that one was not working when we moved in. And I installed a ring floodlight. That's a, a ring smart floodlight or whatever. It's a motion sensitive floodlight. So that has a zone that covers this kind of area of the backyard. So anybody, if you come up these stairs or anything like that, it triggers that motion light. If anyone's on the back deck, if anyone's on the back side of the house here the driveway kind of comes up on the top of the ridge there that will trigger the floodlight it gives us notification that somebody's out there and kind of lets us see the backyard um, and so that's pretty nice and then on the back side of the house here I'll kind of walk over around the atrium side <laughs> look at those icicles right there <laughs> say hi to summer hi so we've had uh, an interesting year of freeze thaw freeze thaw and so we've had some we had some pretty bad ice build up on the roof, so we'll have to probably repair some of that. But we also have this floodlight right up in the corner there, you can see it. And that kind of, uh, that's that's not a motion sensitive or anything. Those are LED floodlights. I think they're 120 watt equivalents. I can't remember the lumen output on those, but those are super bright LEDs and they will cover this whole side of the deck and this whole side of the deck and the backyard here. So they kind of illuminate this whole area. Uh, and then we'll kind of walk up the hill here and uh, show you around where the animals are. Watch out below. Imagine those would hurt if they fell on your head. Ah, uh, we're coming up past the atrium. Give you a little teaser. Things are growing good inside. Another floodlight here. This one needs to be updated. Uh, has old incandescent bulbs in it. It's just a standard floodlight. It is also not working. I'm not sure whether it's uh, just the bulbs burn out or something else. We've got also these coach lights here that don't work and I don't know why. It's another project for another day. We'll put some LED bulbs in here today and see if we can get those to come on. And here we have the goat pasture, the little animal yard, little chicken coops and that. Over here, we've got a floodlight that lights up the little, little animal village. Uh, this will be another good spot for a camera light. And so we'll make a decision later on down the road to put a uh, motion detection type uh, light back here with a camera on it so that we can see our animals. We can see them from some of the windows, but we can't quite see them right uh, from this angle. So, And then I always come around and put all the LEDs and all these coach lights. So these are the decorative ones. Um, these are super bright as well. And so first thing I did when we moved in was, was replaced every bulb with LEDs. Coming around to the front of the house here, this is where the driveway comes up. We got kind of, there's asphalt under here. Then it goes down to dirt and comes up from the road. What I'd like to do is get a video camera light right up in that corner. But it's winter and my ladder's not long enough. So let's see how we can get up here. I think what I can do, I know this is probably not the smartest thing I've done, but I've got a little patch of 
thaw here <laughs> on the roof. I think I can get a ladder up here and get on the roof that way. So this is what we're installing today. It's a soleum or soleum. I'm not sure how you say it, but it's a little solar light. So I don't have any power up there. I'm not gonna mess with wiring it all, hardwiring it all and all that good stuff right now. I've got, uh, we've got these solar options that are out there. There's lots of options out there. This one looks pretty nice though. And basically it has the solar panels on the top. It's got a Wi-Fi antenna. And then it has uh, some small LED lights on the front. It does night vision, motion detection, and it's got a camera. And then you also can put SD cards in it uh, as well. So you, it can record right locally to the unit um, if it's offline or something like that. So, so it should be a pretty simple installation. We just got to get this, this uh, mount put up there and screwed to the to the soffit or screwed to the, the fascia and uh, screwed on. So it shouldn't be that difficult. I just gotta get on the icy roof <laughs> without dying. Well, it's up there. <laughs> I guess uh, maybe I should have said first, uh, don't try this at home. Uh, probably not the safest thing to do. It was pretty slippery up there, but the, uh, straddling the, uh, the top of the roof, so one foot was on each side. So I guess if I slipped, at least I would have the other foot on the other side of the roof to not die. So there it is. And I know there's a lot of trees around here, but I think it'll catch a decent amount of sun. So that should, should charge it up uh, pretty well. I already charged it up 100% uh, before I put it up there. Uh, you know out of the wall charger with a USB cord, but uh, that should give me a pretty good view of the driveway and uh, Anybody coming up the sidewalk here. All right, so the camera's up there and it's online So once we select it there you can view it in, in standard definition or high definition But generally I just I'll leave it on standard definition just so it doesn't use up as much power So this is the full screen shot that uh, gives us from that point it's, an, it's nice to have it up high on the peak there so we can get a good vantage now when the leaves are on all the trees here, we won't be able to see quite as much, but uh, we'll still be able to get, a, get an idea of who's in the driveway and pulling up and, um, and walking up the, the side uh, sidewalk there. So uh, this also has night vision, so it can pull up at night. You can also take uh, snapshots of, the, uh, of, of something, if there's somebody there or something you wanna save. You can actually use the microphone to talk outside, so it has a small speaker in it. So if somebody was out there, uh, you weren't home or something like that, you could speak to the person. You can also record a video, which goes directly to the SD card that's, that I put in the bottom of it, the micro SD, or you can uh, uh, record it. And I think there's a cloud service that they offer where it will store it up on the cloud for you as well. So pretty handy to have these uh, little cameras. We got a bad socket. All right, so that is uh, a good 
candidate for a complete replacement. So that one, I'll, I'll get a whole new unit to put up there because one of the sockets on that is broken. But I always use these LED bulbs. So this one here, this is an EcoSmart brand. This is not the brand that I normally use. I just happen to have these from the old house. Um, not even sure how or why I got these, but generally I use Cree uh, LEDs for all of our, all of our lighting, uh, all of our indoor lights and our floodlights. But these are 120 watt equivalents. So they're, they're a pretty bright bulb and uh, this works pretty good for, for all of our flood lights. So this one here would probably be a good candidate for a, uh, a smart one as well. I could use a camera one on this side. Uh, this one just overlooks the kind of the side of the pasture though. So I don't really need too much visual on this end of the house. I do have the uh, door wall right here as well where I can see you know out this side. So probably just do a motion light over here or maybe just a static floodlight and just uh, it's got a switch on the inside of the door here I can just turn on and off when I when I want to see out here so that might be the way to go maybe just a dusk to dawn sensor so it, it's not on during the day like it is now so exterior lighting it's a, it's a lot of fun uh, especially dealing with it at this time of year but sometimes you just got to deal with these projects when you when you have time and I have time today so let's get it done still have some work to do with some of these other lights but uh that can be done. I'll, I'll save that for a later day. I've got a few things I want to order now. At least I know what I need to get so I can jump over on Amazon and uh, order a couple different lights. I'll put a link in the description for the ring uh, floodlight that I got. I do like that one. It works pretty good. And also this uh, Soliome uh, camera light, which I like a lot. Um, it's actually less expensive than some of the ring options out there. Uh, I do like the ring lights, but uh, I went back and forth on, on which one to get and I, and I do like this one a little bit better. Uh, it's got some some nicer features on it and so check that one out if you're interested in getting a kind of a camera type or security light or flood light um, that's not a flood light that i'm going to leave on all the time it's not going to stay on all night it does have a motion range and it will come on but uh you know it's solar powered so i don't want to burn up the battery and then i don't want to have to go up there and take it out and charge it so much more to do in this house i will take you guys through on a full led lighting kind of uh tour or explanation one of the things that was crazy about this house was we bought it there was, I think I've put in maybe 35 to 40 light bulbs in this house that were burnt out. And uh, I just keep finding more, like these floodlights on the outside here, the, another set that was burnt out. So uh, we, we've put a lot of lights in, and so I'll go through a whole kind of tour of what LEDs I choose, what to look for in LED lighting, all the different numbers, what they mean, Kelvin and color temperatures and, and wattages and, and lumens and all that stuff. And so we can kind of go through and, and I'll show you what we've done in the house to upgrade everything to LEDs save power and uh, the less I have to climb up on ladders and replace light bulbs the better so as always don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video uh, I'd love to hear from you guys too if you have uh, suggestions or comments on what do you guys use for LED lights what do you guys use for flood lights what's your favorite smart flood lights or motion detection or all that kind of good stuff uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think and, and throw that stuff in the, in the discussion below to uh, share with others too so as always guys thanks for watching have a good one